The Northrop F-5, renowned for its economical operation and superior capabilities, remains in active service with over a dozen nations across the world. Having a remarkable developmental background, including achieving supersonic speed during its inaugural test flight in 1959, the aircraft has participated in historical conflicts like the Vietnam War and continues to be deployed in modern-day warfare scenarios such as the Yemen Civil War. The Northrop F-5 was a series of lightweight supersonic jets introduced during the 1960s, with subsequent versions entering service in the early 1970s. It comprised two primary variants, the F-5A divided by B Freedom Fighter, the original model that flew for the first time on July 30, 1959, and the updated F-5E divided by F Tiger II, which took its maiden flight on August 11, 1972. Initially targeted at the United States Navy as its main client, the majority of F-5 aircraft eventually served overseas with American allies, including the Republic of China Air Force and the Republic of Korea Air Force. Emphasizing its cost-effectiveness, high performance, and ease of maintenance, the F-5 proved to be simpler to operate compared to heavier and more intricate jets like the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II. Presently, the F-5 continues to be operated by numerous air forces worldwide, including the Turkish Air Force, Swiss Air Force, and the Royal Thai Air Force. This article intends to delve deeper into the developmental and operational chronicles of the Northrop F-5. Development Originally designed to optimize operational efficiency and cost-effectiveness, the Northrop F-5 was envisioned to fulfill a diverse range of missions. By the conclusion of 1958, Northrop secured a contract from the Department of Defense for three prototypes. The first prototype took flight on July 30, 1959, powered by a pair of General Electric YTJ-85 GE-1 turbojets. It demonstrated impressive performance during testing, even breaking the sound barrier on its maiden flight. After nearly three years of rigorous testing, the Pentagon selected the F-5 as the new standard fighter aircraft to be supplied to anti-communist allies under the Mutual Aid Pact. Production commenced, and a total of 1,204 units of the original F-5 Freedom Fighter variant were built between 1959 and 1987. The fighter boasted remarkable performance metrics for its class, including a maximum speed of 924 miles per hour, a service ceiling of 50,500 feet, and a combat radius of 195 miles. Armament included two 0.79-inch M39 cannons and hardpoints capable of carrying up to 4,400 pounds of weaponry. Operational History The F-5 entered service with the U.S. Air Force's Tactical Air Command in April 1964, followed by international adoption, with the Imperial Iranian Air Force deploying F-5 squadrons in February 1965. Other nations like the Royal Hellenic Air Force and Norway also incorporated F-5 squadrons into their fleets during the late 1960s. With its widespread deployment across various nations, it's unsurprising that the F-5 has been involved in numerous global conflicts and continues to be actively deployed, including in the ongoing Yemen civil war. During its tenure with the U.S. Air Force, the F-5 saw significant action in the Vietnam War, completing over 2,600 sorties, including missions over neighboring Laos. Throughout the conflict, nine F-5s were lost, with seven attributed to enemy surface-to-air missiles. So friends this was about today's podcast if you liked our podcast do inform us about your valuable opinion in the comment box and thank you for listening.